Go back to the uh, the wiggly one. This is how I saw it more so, but as a vortex, you'll see there's a relationship between hydrogen, carbon, silicon, cobalt, rhodium. They're all bonded. They're all sit be- as a middle point between two noble gases. That implies that there are multiple periodic tables. But is that the case? Do you, as a chemist, use only one periodic table? Do you use none of them and just focus on some other form of calculation? Are you not aware of this? No, I'm aware. So, I mean, the periodic table history is fascinating. It's a bit like, you know, the history of any technological era. I think a good example is probably pre-Newtonian gravity, gravity, special and general relativity, right? We use Newtonian physics still because it's still pretty good to get to the moon and stuff, and we can make adjustments that Einstein gave us. The periodic tables that he refers to aren't in any way, I can't, I, and I don't want to be rude or I don't want to be disparaging because it's cool. We talk about they're not in any way in use today. 